2020 was a year and for a lot of people it was a pretty bad year i know that a lot of people experienced a lot of hard things and i don't want to belittle that at all but what i want to do today is bring some happy positive good vibes into 2020 going into 2021 and show you some of my favorites from 2020 and of course this is not going to be a normal favorites video because we're not talking makeup we're not talking hair we're not talking talking fashion we are talking bugs because my thing is pet bugs so we're going to be showing you my favorite mantises my favorite scorpions and my favorite tarantulas from 2020 so i suck at picking favorites i love all of my children i do i do but just for the spirit i decided to pick some favorites and show them to you so we'll see how it goes i hope you enjoy if you did let me know and we can do more of this in the future so the first category we're going to start with is cat this is my favorite cat of 2020 Blur. she's also my only cat next category we'll be talking about well the first real category we'll be talking about is mantises so i had a lot of mantises in 2020 i learned so much about mantises and keeping them and the different species and i've gone through a lot in my mantis keeping journey this year so the first mantis i'm going to show you that i really enjoyed for 2020 is this giant shield mantis her name is matcha she's a very big girl and she's really cool and she lives out in my room on my plants and she just kind of explores and she's really big so i really enjoy her i had a really big mantis named scyther before her that i loved she passed away so this is my now now my biggest mantis in my collection and i just think she's so cool she has that classic green look she's huge and she's just really cute and i've enjoyed her a lot so this is matcha <laughs> She is one of my top mantises of 2020. Aren't you? Yes. Okay, so you know how I said I suck at picking? I do. So I want to show you a couple more. My next top mantis from 2020 is going to be my orchid mantis. Her name is Sakura. She's a little bit scared right now. In her final molt, her wings were messed up a little bit, but I actually think it's really cute and adds kind of like a cute character to her. So yeah, this is this is Sakura. She used to be really pink. She is my orchid mantis and she was definitely a favorite of 2020 because I got her when she was teeny tiny and she successfully grew up in my care. So that makes me really happy and um, I was really happy that she turned out female because she's so big and cool looking and I just love her. <laughs> One more mantis related thing that I want to talk about that is a favorite of 2020 is that I had my first ever experience breeding mantises so i bred my giant asian mantis scyther with some males and i did actually get babies i would like to show you how small and cute they are so here's a baby hope you can see so yeah this is what they look like when they're first born it's been alive for a couple weeks has not molted yet they are so tiny, so small, but I am very proud because I have never tried to breed anything in my life. So the fact that I had a successful pairing of mantises and I have babies, which I don't have a ton of babies. I have about eight babies that are alive and doing well, actually nine, because there was one that hatched earlier. I'm just really excited about that because I really, really want to breed, especially mantises, maybe some tarantulas as well, but I was really excited about that. And that was a favorite of 2020 for sure. So I could not show them. So the next category that I want to show is scorpion. Yeah. So my favorite scorpion of 2020 is going to be, I'm going to pick my buddy, Emperor Petty Palpatine. Oh, his enclosure is heavy. He's right here. He desperately needs his enclosure watered. He is my Emperor Scorpion, and he is just so cool, and I've learned a lot about scorpions, and yeah, I just really have enjoyed him. Let's see if I can tilt this so you can see. 
I'll insert some footage. Here's some better footage of Emperor Petty Palpatine. He's beautiful. You can tell that he's an Emperor Scorpion because his claws have like a bumpy kind of texture to them. And his Telson right here is not black. It's like a dark amber color. Um, yeah, but he is beautiful. Let's look at his face. Hi, buddy. Yeah, he's just super cool and he's so cool to look at. And I just think he's so exciting. And as soon as I got my first scorpion, I knew that I wanted an Emperor Scorpion. And when I had the opportunity to get him, I did. And I've gotten a few more Emperor Scorpions since then. But I just think he's so beautiful and so striking. And so yeah, also I'm really proud of the name that I picked out for him. Like, I just feel like Emperor Petty Palpatine is probably the best scorpion name that I will come up with. He will be my favorite scorpion of 2020. Well, the next category we're going to talk about is tarantulas. And now tarantulas are what I have the most of, so this is going to be the hardest category, but I did narrow down to two. I really tried, so I hope that you will enjoy these favorites. So first up is going to be one that I got. Um, I wasn't expecting to get, but I actually ordered a different tarantula that did not survive the import, so it was replaced with this one, which was also a dream species, so I'm really excited to have it in my collection. And this is Pumpkin. Pumpkin is my Athonapelma by Coloratum, and I've been told she's female. So she's right here. I hope you can see her. I don't want to disturb her, but I really want you to get a good look. She's really pretty. Okay, here you can kind of see Pumpkin. She's so pretty. She's so orange and cute. Um, this is probably the best video I'm going to get of her, but man, she's so cute. And she's the Afona Palma by Coloratum. They are so pretty, and she's just so cute, and I've wanted one in my collection, and they're kind of pricey, definitely more than what I would normally spend on a tarantula especially that small but i did decide to get her because the tarantula that i was supposed to get which was the h chiliensis which is still on my wish list and if you know where i can get one like please tell me because i'm seriously dying over here anyways um i'm really happy with her she was a wish list species for me so i'm really excited to have her in my collection so she's definitely one of my top favorites for 2020 now my next, let's get her out, is going to be Azula, and she is my Brachypelma erratum, or Flame Knee Tarantula. She's a big girl. She is right here. See her face. Here's a better look at Azula, my B erratum. She is so pretty. Look at those flame knees. She's huge, like... I put my hand here so you can compare. She's big. She probably is like maybe six, at least six inches um, leg span. She is so pretty and I just love her so much. Look at those colors. She's so, she's so striking. She's just huge and she is beautiful. And I'm so happy to have a huge, beautiful, bright, colorful, awesome, Confirmed female in my collection. I did get her from Nate over at Micro Wilderness, of course. And I'm just really super happy with her because I just, she's just beautiful. And what's not to love? I'm just so happy that she is mine. I think those are the main animals I wanted to show for 2020. I'm gonna do a quick bonus round where I'm gonna talk about non-bug related favorites. So if you're not interested, you can skip ahead. That is okay, but I just wanted to share a couple non-bug related favorites because I thought why not I am interested in other things as well and if these are things that you would like to know more about I am more than happy to talk about but I just wanted to give a little dabble into other things that I enjoy by showing my favorites for 2020 and see what you think so um the first non-bug related category I'm going to talk about is plant actually I actually collect plants I love plants it's another big passion of mine, so I want to show you my favorite plant of 2020. Okay, it's going to be my beautiful Monstera, and please don't mind the dirty leaves. I need to clean them, but it did just put out some really beautiful leaves like this one, and I'm just so happy with how beautiful and full this plant is. I got it 
um, maybe like five, six months ago. And it was way smaller and it's doing so well in my care and I'm so happy. Like, look at that. It's so lush. If you like any plant related stuff, let me know. I'd be more than happy to talk about it. But if not, like that's okay too. The next category I wanted to talk about is my favorite tattoo of 2020 because I do collect tattoos on my body. I don't know if you knew. My favorite tattoos for 2020, I'm gonna pick two. Um, number one is going to be one that um, I haven't really talked a lot about, but um, I really like them and I'm happy with it. So if you have something bad to say about this, don't say it because I've already heard it. That's gonna be my freckle tattoos. I will come closer. Please don't mind the pimples on my face. But I do have uh, freckle tattoos. They will be getting a touch up once the current lockdown situation clears up. But um, yeah, I got them done and I'm just so happy with them. I used to always draw freckles on and now I have them and they're not gonna last forever, but they will last for a couple of years and I love them so much. They make me so happy and if you got bullied for having freckles, I promise you this is not anything negative towards you. I love them. I feel like they're just very cute. They make me feel confident and good and that's what matters at the end of the day. Now the second tattoo that I'm going to talk about from 2020 is going to be, I gotta stand up for this one, my Benecula tattoo. It's a little vampire bunny. I think it is so cute and I just love this so much. I look down and it just makes me feel so happy and so good. And it was done by Tattoos by Ginger, who also designed this really cute hoodie that says Tattoos for Softies, which is probably my favorite clothing article of 2020, uh, a category I wasn't thinking about talking about, but there's that. So I was editing this video. I know it look a little weird because my plant lights are on, but I did I mention my favorite piercing of 2020 because it was kind of a big deal for me because I'm absolutely terrified of piercings, but I went out and got my first professional piercing. So I was really proud of that. I wanted to share. So my favorite piercing of 2020 is going to be my tragus piercing, this one right here. It was not nearly as bad as I thought it was gonna be, but I was really proud of myself for overcoming that. And that's all. <laughs> I have a lot of favorites, but those are the most poignant of favorites in my life. Well, anyways, I do hope that you enjoyed. Where's Matcha is currently on the grow light for the plants. I do hope that you enjoyed. I hope that maybe I was able to bring a little positivity and light to the end of this crazy year. I'm hoping for better times in 2021 for everyone. And if you've watched my videos this year, and you've subscribed, I really, really appreciate it. It means so much to me because this is a hobby that I have always wanted to do but never had the confidence to do until recently. So now that I have finally been able to push myself to do it, I feel really awesome. Here's to um, 2021. Thank you for being awesome, for being you, for existing, and have a good day, you know? Hang out with a spider. I promise you there's probably one in your shower. So befriend it, give it a name. I have a big daddy long legs in my shower. She gave birth not too long ago to some babies. So I call her big mama and she lives in the shower. Anyways, please excuse the background because I didn't want to disrupt my very adorable cat to fix my bed. But anyways, have a good day. Have a good rest of the year and we'll see you on the flip side. Bye.